It feels so good to finally be, be here. It was a little bit of a struggle to get here, so now that I'm here, I'm super happy. My camp has been amazing. I've had a great camp. I've had some of the best work from my teammates. I've got to really um, utilize my wrestling in this camp, so I've been really honing in on that. Um, and yeah, I've had a great camp. Everything's ran real smoothly, and it was long, tiring, exhausting, the way a camp should be. When you say struggle to get here, you mean like this week? Or yeah, like, like this week. This just week. Like weather yeah, stuff or what? Yeah, because I got two canceled flights, and I had to go from Oakland to Kansas City to St. Louis to Philadelphia where I drove up from Philly yesterday but I was really happy because I wanted to see parts of New York and even though I didn't get to go into New York I got to see like the state line so as stressed as I was I was happy that I got to see some things that I wanted to. As you're going through all that all those flights and stuff is there ever, ever a time where you go man just I'm going home this no. is this is stupid. No never. That's yeah. the answer I knew you were gonna I give would, me. So. I would have ran through fire to get here this weekend I've been waiting for you know I've put in a lot of hard work so there's nothing stopping me from this weekend obviously last time out was was not the kind of result you're looking for how much um, do you put pressure on yourself after after a fight like that going into your next one because you know that you don't want to you know no string no, together losses no I think that I messed up last time by putting too much pressure on myself to win like this fight I just want to perform I just want to have a great performance with Amanda Bell I want us to show Bellator that the featherweights are a roster that they need that they didn't make a mistake getting behind you know so for me this fight is all about excitement win lose or draw I just want to be exciting you guys have a couple uh, opponents in common and common results as well how much of that did you exact yeah, same result it's yeah. very bizarre so how much of that did you I mean did you go back and look at her two fights against your common opponents did you look at all of her fights I mean how what's your prep process like well I know who Amanda Bell is I've only been a professional for three years and she's been a pro for a very long time so me coming up in the ranks I knew who she was it just so happened that my pro debut was against Marina Shafir the girl that she knocked down in 37 seconds and I ended up knocking her out in 37 seconds too so I think it's kind of fate you know it's kind of fate that we're here now and it's kind of fate that um, we're here on Bellator I think that everything happens for a reason and things come full circle and here we are um, I know it's a, pretty early to talk about like where a win puts you and things like that but um, you know on, on the women's side of things, things move a lot quicker yeah. uh, just because there are fewer of you to go around. So, Absolutely. I mean, how crucial is this one for you in terms of, you know, your career in the very near future? Well, Bellator's given me the opportunity to grow. You know, when I got here, I was a two-in-one fighter with like a 17-minute pro career. So, they're giving me the opportunity to grow. So, win, lose, or draw, like, I'm going for that belt. It doesn't matter what happens this weekend. That belt is my goal, and I'm not going to stop till I get there. I would never look past Amanda because she deserves all the respect in the world. She's been doing this for so long. She is a vet. So I never look past her, but once we get past this week in that belt, that's, that's where I'm going. Tell me real quick what you know what you feel like she brings to the table, where she's dangerous, and maybe what from your game she might have overlooked. Um, my wrestling, I think she's overlooked my grappling and my wrestling, and I think that that's where she thinks that she's going to win this fight. But it's not. You know, I'm a full rounded fighter. I like to strike. I prefer to strike. Even even though my fights have only been kind of striking, um, I believe I showed kind of in the last fight that I am willing to take it there if I need to. And if we get to wrestling and grappling, like I'm fully engaged and ready to be there.